thought the film Risen was fantastic. It was uh, mystical, it had a great story, and it gives you a chance to kind of see what was happening in those days from a new vantage point. The experience was so great to see Risen. You know, we get to see it from the perspective of after Christ has risen. And we really get to watch somebody take a journey of what it would look like that they haven't they haven't had that faith. They haven't been walking knowing who Jesus is. It's a movie that makes you think. It's not your typical Christian-themed movie, even though it's dominated with Christian themes. If you're an atheist, a new believer, an unbeliever, I think you can find yourself in this film. I thought the movie was very powerful. It was, uh, it was exciting. It was emotional. It was just really moving just to think about stories that I've read my whole life in a different way. This is a tool. I think the movie provides a non-threatening way for people to present the gospel and to talk about God. And the dialogue that takes place is a lot like what takes place when we're trying to share a witness with other people. It's an absolute must-see. It's really concise in, in bringing you that period of time, that week after the crucifixion. Oh my gosh, it's something that uh, I think will we'll just stimulate people's minds. Just to think about what's going on in Jerusalem at the time. Because um, so often we read scripture, we hear it, and we think line and verse, right? And instead, it's, now we're getting more into the emotions, the people, the players, the history as well. And what could have been there? How could people have responded? Because obviously we don't rely just on scripture for our understanding. It was all about relationships, and that's, that's what we focus on. Uh, more than religion and the disciples, their relationship with each other and their love and devotion to Christ was all about relationship. I just thought it was the hidden story that we have overlooked. Um, we kind of ended with Jesus rose and that's our hope, but um, there was really this conspiracy. The resurrection is the most significant event in human history. Who's got enough guts and courage to sh make a movie about that? But this one covers all generations and all demographic people groups and, and it has a message for everyone. That's what's unique about this film. I'm a youth worker and so I'm so excited for other youth pastors to get behind this movie, take their students to it. It was thoughtful and well done and production values are great, but it was intense. Like the action scenes were full of action. For many students, they're gonna look at the screen and kind of see themselves and go, is Jesus who he said he is? And is this, is God and all this stuff for real? And do I believe it? And that's exactly what the characters are showing on screen too. One of the scenes that stood out for me was the scene where Jesus touches and heals the leper. You know, so you're watching Clavius in that moment, watch Jesus go over. And it wasn't just like a token touch. Jesus goes to the leper and touches the person who's untouchable. Even before he healed him physically, he hugged him and embraced him. He gave him dignity and value. Mm -hmm. And so that scene ca caused my heart to leap. This whole story of, of Clavius and his search and his spiritual journey, to understand it's okay to ask the hard questions. Uh, it's okay to kind of struggle, if you will, to that, to that line of faith. I think of all the conversations I've had with people who they're not sure about Christ, challenged with this whole idea. Is there a Christ? What's really going on? What is life all about? And so for me, the whole time I was like, this is just a great back door. Let him come in, let him sit, let him talk. It's, it's a story that's not being told. So I would just say, get ready to um, have your faith go to another level in terms of being able to see possibilities. The scenes where you see this Roman soldier explore what could be, afraid of what might be, just this journey of his a desire to figure out what really happened to Jesus, which I think gives everybody who watches a chance to figure out for themselves, if this is true, how will this change my life?